the Democratic Republic of Congo plans to go to the polls to elect a new president in December 2023. However, it is important to note that the race to become a candidate in DRC is highly competitive and controversial. So far, several candidates have already announced their intention to run in the presidential elections. First, the Democratic Republic of Congo's ruling party, the Union for Democracy and Social Progress, confirmed Felix Tshisekedi's candidacy for the 2023 presidential election in an extraordinary congress held in Kinshasa in August 2023. President Felix Tshisekedi, who has been in power since January 2019, confirmed that he would run for re-election. For the national legislative alone, the Union for Democracy and Social Progress is fielding 495 candidates for 500 available seats. In second position, main opposition figure Martin Fayulu, who has maintained suspense in recent weeks, also confirmed on September 30th his candidacy for the presidential elections. His party, named Engagement for Citizenship and Development, which belongs to the Lamuka Coalition, had made him in July 2022 the official candidate for the next presidential elections, coupled with the legislative, provincial and municipal elections. At the December 2018 presidential elections, President Felix Tshisekedi was proclaimed winner with 38.5% of the vote. Martin Fayulu came in second position with 34.8% and Emmanuel Ramazani in third position with 23% of the vote. From remarkable exploits treating hundreds of war rape victims at the Panzani Hospital east of Congo in 1999 to winning the 2018 Nobel Peace Prize, Dr. Denis Mukwege has entered the race for the presidency of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The 68-year-old respected gynecologist made the announcement of his candidacy before a crowd of supporters in Kinshasa. Nicknamed the man who repairs women, Dr. Denis Mukwege, is known for his two-year decade-long fight against sexual violence. His work has been lauded globally and brought much-needed attention to the horrific crimes of sexual violence perpetrated during conflict. So far, there are three candidates running for the presidential elections, and each of these presidential candidates offer diverse visions for the future of the nation. Each candidate brings unique strengths and weaknesses to the table, making this election a critical moment for the country's political trajectory. But then, it is hoped that the outcome of this election will shape the future of the nation and its people.